What's good, YouTube? It's me with uh, this plug playing what day? B Trooper. B Trooper. Uh, the Despia Killer. The Despia Killer. The Despia. The Despia Killer. Uh, this deck is really, really fun. Uh, really fun combo deck, so I'm just showing it off. People have been asking about it, so I'm just showing it. Uh, Doom Dozer, uh, starting off with the bling first. Uh, Doom Dozer is uh, just there to banish stuff, which is Resonance Insect, which is right here, which we'll get to in a second. And then when he does battle damage, you mill a card from the top of their deck. Uh, Sting Lancer is basically like a DD Crow style card, except it puts him on the bottom of the deck instead. Um, uh, like one monster from their graveyard and one insect from your graveyard. So sometimes that can happen on turn zero, sometimes it can't. A lot of times it catches stuff like Eldritch and then it just wipes them out of the game. And then when it's summoned, it grabs a B Trooper Speller Trap. Um, getting into uh, pretty much what the main starters are is three Resonance Insect, three Retaliating Seed. They're the same card, there's no difference in them. Uh, besides uh, this, this just grabs the level five or higher, and then when it's uh, banished, then you get to jump. This, you're just grabbing more, and it gets to stop your opponent on their turn if they activate a spell card that special summons. So both of them are really, really good. So how broken but, is the uh, resonance insect real quick? Uh, when you banish, it, it just is the wheels to everything, and it's a union carrier target uh, for Pickle for Kenya, which a lot of people won't understand today if you've never seen it, but Pickle for Kenya is literally union carrier, and all you're doing is just equipping this to the armor horn that's in your extra deck, and you just link up. It, that, it's, people think it's like some hard combo deck. It has one play, and it, that's all that it does. This is a starter and a hand trap, though, which is why I really like this deck. And Retaliating see it's an interesting card. It doesn't really do anything to brand it, uh, but it does grab cards that do do something to brand it. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, the Battle Wasp, this is a uh, Terra Top. Battle Wasp. This is Takatan Board. Um, uh, on, on your opponent's turn, when you pull this back onto the board with the Link Monster in your extra deck, it negates a monster effect. Doesn't uh, assist Appaloosa ish. This burns people for 200 in time, which actually pissed somebody off today. <laughs> like that actually happened. Here's a spark. <laughs> like here's a spark for game. Uh, Arbalest is Wolf Bark. Altair, it's the same thing. It's just pulling one back. So sometimes if you open, if you open both of these, then you just grab this one and follow it up. Gotcha, gotcha. During the same turn with Armor Horn or during the final turn, doesn't matter. This is Kagamucha Knight. It, used to be uh, uh, gotcha. it also can gotcha. tribute an insect to pop a card, so that happens a lot. Yeah, and what I'm what I'm pointing out is around this card, which I'll get there when I get there. But this pops a monster. Uh, Goki Poles. Uh, Goki Pole, when it's sent. Um, you get to then add, and then uh, it's a level four lower insect. If it's a normal, you get to special it. A couple of times a day, I drew the normal, which I don't know if, if I want to play the normal anymore because it kind of was getting on my nerves. Kaga Water Omega. Oh, wait, that's alpha. Uh, sideways Fish is alpha. Uh, but this, adding this, and then specialing this, and then popping a card. That happened um, once today, but like, I don't know how good it is. I, I don't know the deck. I know the deck, like the combos, but like you don't know. Like, you need to like play a lot, a lot, a lot to like figure out, okay, this card isn't good consistently, you know? I probably played like three or four weeks with this deck. Um, assault Roller, uh, Contact Seed, these two, the obvious package. I don't need to talk about them. Uh, this is <laughs> this is Gigantes. I'm trying to like explain cards that help people understand the deck. This is literally Gigantes. That's what it's in the deck for, and then it can it gets boosted by 200 for some cards. Contact C is the Pran Kid and Despia Killer. It just card lands most of the time. Like if you do this on Pran Kids, that happened in my match one. Uh, they normal to Pran Kid, and I activated I activated this. They went into uh, Verite or something, but they don't float into Prank Kids. They're dead. Unless they open some kind of other extension, they're dead. So, and then uh, Despia, that's, they die. If they, they don't have Iron Dash, some people aren't playing Verite for some reason. Some people aren't playing Verite or Iron Dash, they're going to lose quickly. Uh, 
Uh, Always play Iron Dash because of that. Right. Other than that, the card the card is kind of weak, but in certain matchups, it's actually ridiculous. I didn't like this part of the deck, but I still feel like hand traps are hand traps. You got to play them. Uh, yeah, we don't see. We don't see. I just. Ghost Bell is ridiculous right now. I wanted to play Ghost Ogre. I couldn't uh, find space for it in time. And I just, I wanted to go with what I knew. And I, Ghost Bell is ridiculous right now. And it was ridiculous today. Ash Blossom is always what it's it is. Blossom. There's nothing, you know, you don't need to theorize Ash Blossom. Uh, B Trooper Descent is specialing a token. If you have a big uh, 3,000 monster on the field, it's an MST, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> I don't know if it's that good as far as like actually setting it up to pop stuff, but sometimes it is an interrupt where you can set it in your back row if you have a pretty decent board. And like being able to additionally pop something is pretty good. And then you- It's kind of like an extended, correct? Right? right. And then a lot of times in your extra deck, you can turn this into a Link Spider and then into a Verite, so. Oh my God, it's a Verite. Right. Uh, the Diffuser Destinies. Uh, these three are really, really interesting. Uh, this to summon this guy. Uh, I wanted to manipulate some stuff. Like there's stuff like that are level threes and fours and stuff like that where I can play Theseus and like Synchros and stuff like that. I didn't want to do all that. Uh, I just wanted an additional insect. I probably play more. Uh, Gold Sark. You usually hit the uh, resonance. Cause then the resonance when it's banished it dumps a card you know and then it puts it's basically like almost an e-telly in this deck and then the counter trap is a recursive uh like salam and great war and it gates a monster effect uh, that's pretty much that's pretty much the main deck i believe that's 40 exactly probably uh, i didn't count no I didn't. <laughs> it's like it's, it probably is uh, getting it in the extra deck, that Hercules, the target for the, the ready fusion. Wow, uh, an old ass league. The enforcer. Um, I'm, not, I'm not that in love with the, the package. It needs, the deck needs some kind of extra punch in the deck. It might might want to try branded or something, but like I, I like drawing the fusion deck to me at the end of stuff. So. That's fair. Uh, the wheels to pretty much everything in the deck is Pickle for Kenya, just because she's Union Carrier, and uh, Dagusta Rimmel. Uh, the Dagusta Emerald comes up usually the following turn. I don't try to use it on the first turn just because of Armor Horn. Uh, armor Rise or Randomness. Uh, because most of the stuff that you summon is a thousand or lower except for Retaliating Sea. Link Spider um, to change Nibiru tokens, all kind of stuff. I, that happened two or three times today. I got Nib, they kept going. This deck sucks against Nib and it struggles against back roll but it beats the crap out of everything in between, which is weird. It's really, it's the strangest rogue deck I've ever played, ever. Um, the Verite, obviously. Uh, the win was really interesting. Um, uh, it was just interesting. Like I stole, I stole like little small stuff. Somebody was playing Speed Roy today. Uh, it, it's interesting. I don't know if it's that good, but it's it's. You can okay. maybe Baron the third. Right. The other part of the wheel, so pretty much the whole combo, just to explain it really, really quick. The whole combo revolves around these two. You get this guy with two insects, you get this guy with two more insects, you equip the resonance insect, and then you make the big guy at the end of all that. And the big guy is over here, and the big guy says, can't be targeted, can't be looked at, can't be blinked at. Look back down at, at the ground. Yeah. This card is too good. Uh, he tributes a card to special a B Troop out on the field, or he can just boost up to 5,000 and attack over stuff. And when he uh, when he goes up, he can be targeted. But sometimes you need that that extra attack boost, you know, to, to punch the over stuff. Biggest something. beef stick here. Right. Kaiju bait. Right. That's what Enormous <laughs> kaiju bait. Enormous. <laughs> Uh, this card is really, really interesting, um, but it's extremely slow. Uh, you put a counter on it, and then on your opponent's turn, most of the time you're snatching back one of these. Counter for every link uh, insect used in its link material. Quick effect. Uh, yeah. So here, uh, scale bomber to pop a monster or to negate an effect. It just depends. Um, sometimes you're just using it to to link off. Uh, yeah, uh, to link off Armor Horn. Armor Horn locks you into insects, and with its additional uh, normal like 
sometimes you're gonna get like stuck and you only have that and another monster, so you have to have this monster. So you have to play like two of them. And the second one will come up like 100% of the time. And then two more randoms. Uh, this is supposed to be Access Code Talker. Uh, I didn't have mine today, so. But Access Code Talker just because of the, trust me, Access Code Talker just because it's winds, earth, dark, light, you know. It's, it's nuts. Your, your extra deck is nuts, so it pops everything. And then obviously you guys know about the standards. Harpies. So, standard. Standards. Uh, Very standard. Yeah, For Flunderies, um, I actually think Dark Ruler No More is not that good right now. It's kind of weird just because there's there's decks that are hitting you in, in waves. And, like, you have to, like, hold Dark Ruler and then bring it all out and then Dark Ruler. And then sometimes that's not that great. So, you may want to find a different card. Yeah, no, with Despia, this card comes out kind of of the format. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, like, Despia kind of tilts some of these cards out of the side. But you have to have this for Flunder. Uh, the anti spells were insane. This deck only plays uh, five to seven to eight, you know, like somewhere in between five and eight spells. I'd probably want to play another one. And I'd cut down on even more spells. The anti spell is nuts right now. You, it could also be a floodgate right here, but uh, reboot because with Doom Dozer plus like any kind of extension, they're gonna die. And then Feather Duster, <laughs> you pray you don't see Sky Prison and you just feather Feather Duster through stuff, and that's pretty much it. Shout out to Umbreon and you know the Wise Guys tokens, Ooh. and that's me. And him. Thank you.